so this is tutorial number nine uh, it's a little similar to what we did over here so I'm going to start working on on this exercise few commands we're gonna use is polygon circles lines fillets and offsets for making our grid and finding our center lines okay and obviously dimensions we could use polar tracking and angular dimensions as well okay let's start with this exercise so I am going to start first with my center line and lay the grid start with a line going vertically down and this line going this direction okay I will offset that 5.06 offset enter 5.06 enter click there I got that and then I would offset 2.70 offset 2.70 click that line go this way okay so I got the center for this I got the center for this one and then I need to get the center for this one now where is that circle located with reference to what we have now if the dimension is not here I'm just going to go ahead and put the dimension because I think the dimension is missing going to put the dimension as a linear and from there to the center it's 1.58 so I'll offset that 1.58 enter going down so that's my third circle so I'll start laying my circles in uh, this one is 0 0.28 these two look the same as you see over here so once I do that I will copy it in that location so I'll start with the circle the center point diameter 0.28 okay I'm just going to erase that make my layer as model front or model top circle center point the diameter 0.56 and again I draw another circle center point and the diameter for that is 1.35 diameter 1.35 okay so I have both my circles in I'm going to see O as in copy select both the circles enter from the center point to the center point right there okay now let's put in these big circles that you see over here this one circle is a uh, diameter of one so circle from the center D enter one enter then the bigger one is diameter 1.35 circle center diameter enter 1.35 okay that doesn't look like oh that's the radius 1.35 so circle center 1.35 usually wherever there is a circle it always should be associated with a D that is a diameter and wherever there is an arc it's always associated with the R so that one is a wrong dimensioning it should have been a diameter okay so I'll go and fix that later on so we got our two circles then we need to put our polygon in but before I put my polygon in I am going to make that line at an angle of 15 right click select 15 line from the center this is 0 and that is 15 okay 
So I'll just make that line there for reference and I will offset I will offset it 0.79 because that's half of 1.58 0.79 okay and this is where my polygon is going to fit in at that specific angle so let's go to polygon the command that we would use is pol or you could find it over here right there I'll give a number of sides now the polygon that I have right here is six sides so that's okay so enter that center of polygon is right here circumscribed and make sure it snaps to that angular line okay so now I got my polygon going in that angle everything looks good so I'll select this I will put it on my dimensions layer okay now I have one more thing over here it says the radius of 1.58 okay so I'm going to make a circle starting from the center and a radius of 1.58 okay later on we'll be filleting and trimming this circle but it's important because if we are working with um, fillet and radius or even making a TTR circle uh, just to make sure if it works fine that's why I'm doing this whole circle again as I said we will trim it up or we will fillet it. now let's try fillet this circle and the big outside circle with a radius of 4.5 and let's see if that works so I go fillet enter R enter 4.5 enter and I click that one and I click right there you see what's happening my fillet is going down in this direction which I don't want so if this doesn't work we are going to use the circle with a TTR so I do circle enter TTR enter first point is right there and the second point is right there the radius 4.5 enter okay so now you see we got uh, the circle to go where it's supposed to go I'm going to go ahead and trim the circle obviously which we don't need so I can get rid of that arc and delete this so I got that part of my object now I will put this arc in now the radius of this arc is 1.35 so over here I'll just try using the fillet fillet enter R enter 1.35 enter select this circle and select that circle so that worked fine okay I'm even going to go ahead and trim this circle because we don't need it and I will trim that and trim this and delete it okay so we are pretty much done only thing I need to make sure is get these lines in and I should be okay so what I will do is use a mirror command and mirror this thing on this side I do MI enter just this small little arc enter and the mirror line is right here so I make one and two clicks and it asks me raise source object I hit N for no and enter now all I have to do is take a line and make the line connect with my object take a line from here make sure I go up to the tangent okay now I would do the same thing here but I would mirror this object MI both of them both small little arches that I have 
from the center to go on the top okay you see that mirroring it from the center I need two points and hit no so I got my arc number three and I will just join a line going from there till the tangent okay so see this is how I did this tutorial I used a few commands there's something going on here I have to make sure I fix that I just didn't trim it right so I'm going to go ahead and trim that small little section okay so now this is the final drawing all I have to do now is just put the dimensions okay so go to the dimensioning layer and put our dimensions in start with the diameters I'll even put the diameter there or this one diameter then the diameter then I will put in the dimensions the linear dimensions from the center to the end there from the center to this center there okay now we can put in this height from here to there just right here and I would put in the different radiuses I would put in the line dimension which is from there to there then I would put in uh, the angles because I had an angle over here which was the 15 okay so that's the angular dimension this one and that one and we are done so this was an exercise explaining you all the tools thank you